Alright, on today's video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to build one of these MX650s with the 1800 watt motor, um, a big lithium ion battery, and a new controller. I'm going to show you how to put these new, uh, the new throttle on, it's a 3 speed with a voltmeter. Alright, let's get into this thing. Now I'm going to start removing the batteries. Next thing I need to do is take this chain guard off so I can get the chain off. This chain's off. Now I can get the motor out. There's three. Uh, 316 ounce. Motor's out. Last thing I'm going to do before I start putting it all back together is take this back wheel off. start building it. While the back wheel's off, I'm going to go ahead and install this motor. First thing that I need to do is cut these tabs off because we're going to be using these other holes to, to mount into the frame. So I'm just going to use a uh, reciprocating saw and hope for the best. Okay, that should be good. I'll file it down a little bit to make it smooth. Next thing I need to do is countersink these two screws into the motor. Um, it, it won't mount up without it, without these being flush with the motor. So I'm going to back one out at a time, drill it out with the 516 spit. Okay, now that I have this out, I'll drill it out a tiny bit. Okay, I think that'll work. We have one more to do now. Okay, now they're both countersunk. I'm just going to go ahead and trim these off with the hacksaw and we'll mount this up. Okay, now the motor should fit in there just fine. Okay, the motor is in. Next on the list is going to be to change this sprocket out. This is the one that came with the motor. This is one that I got from Electric Scooter Parts. I think it's like a 13 tooth. To change the sprocket out of a 10 millimeter, there's a little spot here. This is reverse threaded. I'm just wrapping it with this back on. I don't want to strip it out. Okay, we have a sprocket on. Now we can go ahead and put the back wheel on. Everything's looking good. Free wheel is working. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and mount this new battery. I have a piece of foam. It's going to fit in here. Then a block. Then I have a piece of foam that's the same size as the battery. It should slide right in. Put that in. 
going to use a Velcro strap here. And secure the battery. Okay, perfect fit. The battery's secure. All right, one of the final things to do before we start wiring it up is put the controller in, have it mounted to another piece of shelving. Um, got to fit in here. Just like that in this bottom tray. And use another piece of Velcro. There we go, controllers in. Last thing I do before I um, start wiring it up is I'm going to switch out this throttle. This new throttle has a voltmeter on it and it's a three speed sensor. New throttle, new handle, should be ready to wire it up now. First thing that I'm going to do is hook up this um, motor. So basically I have this junction box here and we just have to connect the same color, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, blue. And I'm going to use the bottom sections here. Okay, I have one side hooked up, now I'll hook up the other. The only thing left is this <clears throat> hall sensor and it just plugs straight in. So I'll show you that once I get this mounted up. Okay, I have it zip tied to the frame here. Like I said, it can only go one way, I think, so. All right, that's all hooked up now. To continue wiring this thing up, next thing I'm gonna wire up is the brakes. Um, these are the standard Razor uh, brake plugs. I went ahead and uh, took the, the, the plug off of the controller and then wired it into this controller. So it's these purple and black wires and there's two of them. Um, mine were labeled so it's pretty easy to tell but if not look for the they're both purple and black and there should be two of them so now that I put these connectors on we can just go ahead and hook them straight in so like that and like that so now the brake uh, the brakes are hooked up, so when you are holding down the brakes, it will not trigger the motor. Next, I'm going to hook up the throttle. Um, this controller and motor came with a throttle. I went ahead and got an aftermarket three-speed throttle with a voltage meter. So I went ahead and cut the end off of the throttle that it came with and plugged that into my new throttle that I just that I bought and it's pretty easy you put red to red black to black and then whatever the other color is in my case it's green to white and we'll plug it into the stock throttle um, port that it has here which is red to red black to black and then white to gray so we'll go ahead and plug this in just like that so now our throttle is hooked up and then with this we'll go ahead and hook up our our three speed and I'll show you exactly how that's done okay for this three speed controller uh, I did not have a plug that was compatible so I ended up putting these bullet connectors on here and this will make it easier to swap in and out I didn't want to hardwire anything in case I needed to take it apart or switch it up so in order to do this um, from my throttle three speed I need to connect the the brown to the blue here 
And then I need to connect the white to the black. And finally, I will connect the blue to the yellow. And then the only thing that I have left on the throttle is this yellow wire which came with this bullet connector on it and that's for the voltage meter so we'll go ahead and hook that up to connect the voltmeter i i took the orange wire off the indicator light there's a orange and a black wire going to this now i'm going to hook that straight into the the yellow from my throttle Okay, that should be everything from the throttle is now hooked up. Your throttle, your three speed, and your voltage meter. Okay, the last two things that need to be hooked up um, are the E-lock. That's the orange and red connector that's coming out. You can either um, just jump these together. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put a secondary switch on here. So I put these little ends on. And I'll show you how I'm going to hook it up to the switch on that case. But other than that, I'm not using the reverse or the charge port. I'm going to use the stock charge port right here. And I'll show you how to hook that up. Um, and is there anything else? I'm not using the brake lamp. Other than that, everything else is hooked up. We'll go ahead and um, wire up the the battery and we can test this thing out. To wire up this battery the first thing I'm going to do is take the red and black from the controller and hook it to one side of this junction box. The next thing I'm going to do is take this plug um, and hook it to the other side of the junction box. This is going to come from the switch on the side case um, and plug in right here. So. And I'll show you more what the case is going to look like once I get this in. Okay, now that I have this all plugged up, let me zip tie it back where it was and we'll move on to the case. Okay, just for reference, here's what the case looks like, the on off here. And I put this secondary little two pin switch here. This is going to be connected to the e-lock that I was talking about. On this side, you can see I have one side of the switch connected. Um, this side is going to be connected to the battery. So this is the um, end that came with the battery. And I'll show you how to connect that. Um, I put an inline fuse here. This is a 30 amp fuse. It's what it's, the motor is rated for just to make sure. And then coming out of the switch, I have my other connector that I just hooked up to the junction box. Um, so that way, that's where the power will come. And I can connect it, or I can disconnect this whole case and still work on everything. And then up here, if you can see, um, I'll be using the hot and neutral on this uh, pin on this uh, little on off switch so this is going to be where the e-lock connects and that's where I put those spade connectors so we'll go ahead and connect this up and see what happens to connect this up the first thing that I'm going to do is hook up these long leads uh, let me get them untangled here this is the uh, red and orange the e-lock that I was talking about um, I just cut the connector and extended them to be spade connectors and let's see if I can show you I'm just gonna hook them up to these two right here okay now the e-lock is on I'm gonna turn this around Gonna connect this to the battery. This is what it came with. Um, it's pretty easy to connect here. Connect that up, and then the last one is gonna go to the junction box that I just hooked up. And that should be enough to get this thing running. So now we'll test her out. 
Okay, here's my first attempt at running this thing. I'm gonna turn my main power on. Now I'm gonna turn my E-lock on. I see I have 54.3 volts. I'll show you that if I can. There we go. There goes nothing. Not sure which one that is. I think that's the third speed. I think that's one. That's two. And this should be three. Okay. It works. Now I'll check um, if I hold this brake in, throttle, nothing. Hold this brake in, throttle, nothing. So I think it's all wired up correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and tie some of this stuff up. Okay, I think I'm pretty much all ready to put it back together now. I just wanna go over some of the modifications that I did have to make. Um, I did have to cut in between here and here to make it fit. Uh, around the controller and then I had to cut this back section out in order to fit around my battery Those are really the two biggest things and then I also cut a little hole here To stick my charger out of so it'll stick through there and I have a little clip or something that I will It'll sit just like that and this will just go in just like that with my modifications. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and put it all back together now. Okay, that's about as good as the case is going to go on. You can see I put this little clip here for the charger. The only thing that's left to do is pop this top cover back on. Forgot one last thing, I'm gonna put this chain guard back on. Alright, I think that's officially everything back on. I know you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see much, but I'll show you the first test drive. Alright, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, we put the new motor, the new controller, and the new battery in this thing. We also put a new throttle on it with the voltmeter, and it's a three speed. Uh, showed you guys how to modify the motor, wire up the controller. Um, I haven't seen anyone else go through it all the way like that. I've seen some drawings and some stuff, but hopefully this will help you guys know exactly what to do. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will report back to you and see how fast this thing is. Yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.